गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट माई वर्कआउट आई विल टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द नॉन कार्बन प्लेट शू डेट आई यूज एंड आई ऑल्सो गिव यू द रिव्यू अबाउट दिस शू सो द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस वीडियो इज टू गिव यू इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट सम गुड नॉन कार्बन प्लेट शू एंड ऑल्सो टू प्लान एंड टू परचेज अ शू विच फिट्स यू वेरी वेल एंड इट ऑल्सो मीट योर नीड for a marathon or a or a uh, half marathon or a 10k event so without further uh, delay let's start today i plan to run 16 km and i thought of holding a pace of 350 to 4 and 45 pace on a flat surface i planned in such a way that i chosed a nearby field uh, it was a road and it was flat elevation was almost close to 3 uh, or 4 meter uphill and it was zero uh, in the downhill uh, i did three loops uh, one uh, loop makes 5 km so i made three loops to complete uh, 16 km and for this uh, workout i chose to use kinvara 14 shoe now i am not having any kinvara 14 shoe with me so i requested one of my friend satish to lend his shoe for me for this trial run he gladly accepted that and he gave me this shoe yesterday so i thought why not to use this u shoe just to test my endurance my speed my leg strength and to see how well it uh, works for me so um, so i got the shoe i used it today morning and here is the review the thing which most impressed me is its light weight which is just 200 g uh it fits really well to my uh, to my legs to my toe i didn't get any uh, pain any niggle anywhere there is no carbon plate all just rubber all just breathable upper so uh, upper uh, mesh it is a very tight uh, uh, mesh which is uh, this is uh, used for lacing and it is uh, it fits really well so let's talk in detail the weight of the shoe is 200 g and it is very ideal for a road running for a, a tempo or a fast intervals or even a long runs with some tempo paces so if you are planning to run a half marathon or in fact a full marathon also then you can use this particular shoe uh, the support is neutral uh, uh, and it uh, and it allows your feet to um, to be on the ground like this and it will really help you to propel forward that's the best part of uh, uh, kinvara 14 Uh, as you know kinvara uh, uh, has got three editions 12 13 14 i have not used 12 or 13 but this is the 14 edition which i am using for the first time the let's talk about the upper mesh the upper mesh is somewhat very similar to endorphin pro 3 it has got a softer inner layer which is attached and it is very breathable there are two layers you can see one of them is uh, this one which is very breathable uh, and there is again a inner uh, layer which uh, protects the outer um, mesh next comes the tongue so the tongue is uh, very soft it has got uh, three eyelids if you see 1 2 3 3 and it has got three holes the eyelids helps lacing very uh, tight so this tight fit and adjusting the lacing is the primary uh, is one of the prime feature of the sockney Uh, in uh, kinvara 14 third comes the heel it is very uh, supportive and it has a got a very good pa padding and it helps you to propel uh, uh, forward very nicely you can uh, put your legs in the ground like this and you can be able to uh, propel very comfortable now let's talk about the outsole the outsole is made up of rubber it's exposed and there are couple of hot spots if you see this one and this one uh, have a very good grip on the road so the gripping ability uh, on the road is very strong it, it this is what it makes the shoe stable and and that makes it a daily trainer shoe um, with very uh, very good uh, firm um, ground contact stability and um, and and it and it will make your run very enjoyable um so uh, so there are three things which i really liked uh, about this shoe one is versatility one is the lightweight which is just 200 g one is responsive and it was very comfortable on the legs 
I never face any issue of pain in my ankle or toe or fingers anywhere. Uh, it, it was just a very nice shoe for a long tempo run. Now let me talk something about the pace and the speed elevation that I used for today's uh, run. So I run 16 kilometer. I started early at around 5 a.m. I went to my nearby uh, locality. I made three loops of five kilometer, or one kilometer just around to make it a 16 kilometer. Um, the pace which I was able to hold the average pace is four six, and the elevation gain was 40 meter. It is there in my Strava and I was able to hold very easily a pace of around 42, 43, even 356, 355 for Q, uh, kilometer. Uh, I, I was uh, expecting a GPS fluctuation in my uh, locality. So that is where uh, I was very sure that uh, the pace was really fast. I was, I was very confident that I was running at around 4, 358, 357 pace. But somehow because of this GPS, I'm getting uh, 4, 8, 4, 9, 4, 7 paces. Um, but since I know my pace, since I know my body, I very well know this is not the accurate pace. So this is all about the shoe friends. Um, I, I hope you enjoy this video. You understood something good about this non-carbon plate shoe. This is available in Saucony India website. Uh, the uh, the uh, ex exact price of this shoe is around 13 to 14, but we get a very good discount and it uh, it will be around eight or nine. In fact, 6,000 also, you can get it from uh, Flipkart or Saucony.com. For this video, Saucony has not provided me this shoe. It has not sponsored. It is just my own interest. And my objective is to help fellow runners to purchase a very uh, good shoe at a reasonable price. It will not be a burden for them to spend 25,000, 23,000 on a carbon plate shoe uh, uh, to achieve a sub four pace for a long distance running. So with this, I conclude this video. Namaskar.